Welcome to my basement IBC floating raft aquaponics project. I can show you around the system a little bit. I uh, cut the IBC food grade containers uh, about a third of the way up and I use them as grow beds for the top. Now the containers on the bottom are where my fishies live. These are tilapia. I have about a dozen of them here. Uh, from this fish tank, uh, the water flows over here where my pump is located. I do have a couple fish in here, but those are going to be moved uh, to another location uh, today, probably. Uh, the pump pumps the water up to this grow bed. Uh, this is my nursery grow bed, again, a floating raft. And the water then, uh, through gravity, uh, flows down to this bed. I have them connected on the bottom uh, to this bed over here. Uh, there is a drain, which is right here, which flows down into my filter. Uh, the filter here is a media-based filter. I can show you what that looks like. Uh, the, I do have LECA, the same medium that I'm using uh, to grow my plants uh, for my biological filter. So once the water flows through the filter, is aerated very well, uh, gets dumped back here into the system. So I have one 110 watt pump that pumps the water through this entire system. I'm cycling about twice an hour. I do have air stones uh, in these grow beds just to keep the roots uh, nice and healthy. You can see on my lettuce that the roots are growing through the pot down into the water and nice and white and clean. Uh, this beautiful head lettuce here is called Rex. It's about 40 days old. Uh, so almost uh, six weeks and they are ready to harvest. Uh, here in my other adult grow bed I have uh, four types in here actually. This is a, this lettuce here is a oak leaf, a green oak leaf. Here I have a red oak leaf. This is a Rex just like next door except uh, it hasn't headed yet. And then here, this is a Sylvesta, which is also a head lettuce. It's larger than the Rex, and it does take a little bit longer to grow out. I do have a fan uh, every 15 minutes on, and then off just to help with some air circulation. Um, the lighting primarily for the system are Kessel LEDs. The grow bed, this uh, nursery grow bed here is actually stage two. Stage one I have in my other room, where I just fill net pots with this LECA. Uh, and I put the seed on top and I put it underneath a T5 bulb for two weeks until the roots uh, grow down through the bottom. And then they come into the nursery bed, which, uh, for, which are eight, I'm sorry, two inches apart off center. Uh, and then the adult grow bed, the holes are eight inches off center just to allow uh, for the plants to grow out. I do have also herbs here. I have Thai basil, I have Italian basil, I have parsley, dill, cilantro, and kale. And to keep the pH, my goal is to keep it around 6.8. Uh, and to do that, I do have to add some calcium uh, hydroxide, some potassium hydroxide. I, I add to bring the pH up because it, it, it just drops naturally. Uh, due to the biological uh, process and I do add sometimes a little bit of uh, baking soda. Um, I do also add iron. Uh, we have uh, Lake Michigan water here and the iron content isn't high enough for the plants so I uh, add a chelated iron uh, DTPH about once a week. So here's my system. Very happy with it. Uh, thank you for watching.